If you're new to backpacking and you're interested in doing some multi-night camping and hiking trips, let's talk about getting yourself a 45 to a 65 liter pack and uh, everything you need to fill that up so that you can enjoy yourself out there without carrying too much weight. We've got things broken down into a few sections. Uh, first is water, food supply, shelter, and warmth, clothing, then accessories like your basic toiletries, first aid, headlamp, survival and emergency type items. Uh, then everything from here over is just extra weight that you might not even want to bring. All right, so let's go through it real quick. Uh, water filtration is extremely important, uh, almost no matter where you are. Uh, this type of device is super helpful because um, it fills two and a half liters. So when you're pumping at the river, fill that guy up and then you can come back to camp and fill this guy up and then go over here and start cooking with with the water that you uh, have in here so you can carry that empty um, you know or use that as a transport to and from the water supply to your camp all right so food um, let's say I've got freeze-dried meals for breakfast and dinner you're gonna eat out of the pouch with that using a long spoon so um, you eat directly out of this this thing and it, you cook directly in that thing just adding hot water so um, this type of stove is super helpful you know this this fuel is pretty standard you can get it everywhere around the world there's my stove uh, I'll boil my water um, and then I cook my food in the pouch it takes about 10 minutes to make all that lunch stuff you know you can go the heavier route salami and cheese with some pita bread or you just go to this kind of like, you know, lightweight snack and bars might hold you over until you get a lot of calories from these meals that are 14 grams of protein and two servings, for example. Other nice to haves are coffee set up. And if you like, you can do soy creamer that doesn't spoil unrefrigerated. Um, put your coffee in a little bag, ground up. And um, this is a helpful thing too. So you can both drink out of that, cook out of that, and eat out of that. Um, so this is a nice style of uh, camping mug as well. Blue stuff sack over here for keeping your food in. And then the 100 foot of this paracord is rated for about 300 pounds of resistance. So I'm going to put all my food in that bag at nighttime and string it up into a tree. And I keep all that food in that bag into my backpack daytime when I'm out hiking. So that keeps all my stuff organized. That takes care of food and water. Now I've got shelter here. Uh, and then sleeping bag, something to sleep in. So this is a um, goose down um, bag that super lightweight, um, super warm, and compresses down to a very small size. So I can fit that whole bag into this um, tiny pouch that will be about the same size as my camping pad. It's, it's the, by the way, Thermarest Pro Light. Um, it's about 120 bucks, um, it's a nice pad. Your tent comes in four parts, right? So you have your actual tent, you have your poles, those are essential. And then you've got your stakes and your vestibule or your rain fly. Um, I would say those are almost optional depending on what you're doing and depending on what your tent setup is like. If you don't think it's gonna rain, you might not need that. Um, just like you might not need your rain jacket. So let's move on to clothing here. Um, Boots, absolutely essential to have nice boots. Um, a tall ankle is gonna support your ankle so that when you have a big heavy pack on, you're not gonna roll it and you know um, injure yourself out there. So invest in a nice pair of boots um, instead of just sneakers, you know. It's always nice to get to camp and take off those boots and put on something lightweight um, and nice and comfortable. So whether it's flip-flops or some lightweight shoes, Tom, something like that is good. Hats. A pretty nice thing to start with is just a basic baseball hat. Then you got these high fashion uh, sun hats, you know, for a safari hat. Keep your neck covered, um, good way to go. And then nighttime comes around, you get a cold hat. Cannot stress this enough that you don't need more than one pair of anything, um, at least for not two, three days. Um, after that, you can debate it. Socks, uh, personally, I like this silk liner underneath my wool sock. That will prevent blisters in a major way, so it keeps the friction off your actual foot. I carry another pair of small socks that I only use for sleeping in, so that keeps your stinky feet 
out of out of your sleeping bag. Um, one pair of shorts, one pair of pants, uh, a down vest, one pair of underwear, also doubles as swim trunks, fleece jacket, short sleeve shirt that has SPF in it, long underwear pants, long underwear uh, shirt, and then all that goes into this stuff sack that also doubles as a day pack backpack. Okay, so stuff sacks again, helping keep your gear organized, just like you keep your food in the stuff sack. Okay, I've got this little stuff sack over here. Again, multi-use for my kind of essential basics, my survival equipment, and then some of my miscellaneous nice to haves. So essential basics, toilet paper, um, toothbrush, and a headlamp, extra batteries, sunglasses. Those are, I would say, your essential basics. Um, get yourself a headlamp with a red lamp. Just trust me on that one. It is the courteous and polite way to go around. Instead of shining your bright light in someone's face it, um, like a total amateur. So don't do that. All right, then you've got your survival and emergency type items like an extra lighter, uh, duct tape, a compass, a rescue whistle, a signal mirror that you can use to attract attention in case of an emergency. You've got iodine tablets are a good thing to have in case your pump breaks, you need to purify water. Uh, then you've got a knife and a multi-tool. You know, those are a lot of extra weight. People like to bring big knives that are um, kind of useless. So just be mindful of, you know, what do you really need that for? Um, of course, it's smart to bring a map um, if you don't have a, a really good topographic map, then at least the very minimum is to bring a trail guide, like um, the printed Xerox copy of um, something you'll find at the trailhead. All right, the rest of these accessories are um, nice to have. Um, smart things to really bring are sunscreen um, and ibuprofen, Advil, um, antibiotic ointment and medicine. You know, think about first aid type stuff. Um, insect repellent, bug spray, Tums, you know, whatever's gonna make you comfortable. Inflatable pillow, moleskin, band-aid, um, earplugs if you have friends that snore, and then, you know, other things that you will enjoy out on the trail if, if it matters to you, you know, bring it. Some places make you carry a printed permit, and then at this point, you know, everything else is just ounces of pounds of extra weight, you know, toys, towels, hammock, a rain pack cover in case it's going to rain or a um, tent bag you know there's a lot of these things you can take out and not have to bring but um, you know if you really find this extra weight is going to make your time enjoyable it's up to you you have to carry it um, in and you have to carry it out all right so take everything that we've discussed and put it in your pack let's set your target pack weight around 35 pounds if you're coming in less than that, including a full camel back of water, then you're in a great starting place. Um, some variables that will increase your pack weight are however many nights you're staying out there, you're going to have to carry more food. Um, if you have uh, weather or temperatures that require you to carry more clothing and more tent equipment, um, that might increase your weight as well. So all of it should fit nicely into a 45 or 55 liter pack. And then you can shoot for an average of five to 10 miles a day, and then start going up from there. 15 miles is a pretty long day. So uh, with that, you know, it was a good starting place for a two, two nighter trip, and then go on from there and see how you do. One more really important thing to talk about is outdoor ethics and the principles of leave no trace. And really what that means is um, stay on the trails, respect the, ecosystem and the environment and the habitat of the wildlife that's living out there. Don't disturb the vegetation that's growing and anything that you bring out there, you know, bring a Ziploc bag or a garbage bag and pack that out with you. If the rules are no campfires, then respect that. Stay on the trail and don't go bushwhacking into the, the woods if you don't have to. Very popular areas might have a backcountry toilet, but since you can't count on that, get familiar with the best practice, which is always 200 feet away from from camp and water source to go pee. Uh, same for solid human waste, dig a six to eight inch cat hole 200 feet away, uh, bury that and pack out your toilet paper. All right, good luck with it and enjoy.